Hey, this one's for all of you nonconformists out there. Uh, you know who you are. Um, I, I want to challenge you, because um, I, I know because God challenged me, uh, I, I was the wrong kind of nonconformist. I, I think there's a, a godly kind of nonconformist that we're going to talk about in a minute, but I was the, uh, the other kind, uh, railing against the world, raging against the machine, right? Great band, uh, and uh, their music shows you kind of what that's about. Uh, there's wrongs, there's things that need to be fixed, and, and we're against that. Uh, and so that was me. Uh, for, for many, many, many years, God got a hold of me, changed my heart, uh, and, and continues to change my heart. I'm not going to say that I'm perfect. I'm not going to say that I've got it all figured out. I still, that, that, that kind of rebellious punk inside me just is fighting for control, but God's there, right? His Holy Spirit in that fight. Uh, I, I can have this kind of nonconformity, and, that, and that's from 1 Peter uh, chapter 1. We're gonna, I'm going to read verses 13 and 14. You'll see what I mean. Uh, Paul says, therefore, knowing that you have this good news, knowing that uh, you, you have this salvation, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, he said, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, so God's going to reveal Jesus when he comes again in all of his fullness, in all of his glory. And so prepare your minds for action. Like every day, get ready. Where, where are we going? Uh, having a sober mind that's, that thinks clearly, that thinks God's way about things, with that hope set on His grace. What, what, what Peter says is you can have that grace right now, every day. Jesus won the victory. You are saved. You are loved by Him. That's your hope. And you're going to see that in its, all of its fullness when Jesus comes again, and, and you'll be you know, carried by Him into eternity. What, a, what an awesome, awesome thing. So this is how we live, as obedient children. He says, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. Right? I look back at my former life, and there was a lot of ignorance there. A lot of things I thought were, were right that were actually wrong. Ways that I thought were so wise and so, you know, this is the right way to live. And this is success. It was actually like horrible failure because it was all about me. Now, what God wants us to know is that He loves us. He wants us to have a life not just of happiness and success and all the things that we think are so important, but to have real joy and real peace in the real world, which is filled with issues, which is filled with hostility and all these other things. And, and, and again, he, he shines His light into that darkness. And He said, okay, this is how you live obeying Him, looking to Him for direction, looking to, to God for, for what is right and what is wrong, looking to Him for, for, for how I should live, how I should respond to the people who might be coming against me. What do I say? What do I do? Because I don't want to conform to what everybody else is saying and what everyone else, right, the, the path and the direction they're going. Because it's not, it's not with God. I want to go with Him. So it's, it's, it's cool to be nonconformist, um, but, it, but it's, but it's a, such a different kind of nonconformity where we are actually being transformed into what God is making us, His children, one, people who trust Him. All right, so please share this message with somebody, hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you next time for another follow-through.